Welcome to the XSF Podcast, hosted by Devante and Lou. This is the Fuego. podcast to show that every human is capable of being extreme. Tune in to discover how you are too. that played right well (laughs) welcome everybody to another episode of the xsf podcast i'm your host Devante, and today i am riding solo lou isn't feeling too good so you know we told each other you know you need to rest dog get some rest get your sleep so we can get back and heavy to it this week now in today's episode I really just wanted to talk about the skateboarding community. And really quick, I'm going to share something here in the intro. I did share this in the episode, actually. And if you guys are watching, you can see it on the TV. But I did share about Monte Coso Skateboards and what they're doing for our dear friend, Raymond. Raymond recently lost everything he has in an apartment fire. Not only just material things, but he lost his, his cat, his cat Tokyo, who meant the world to him. And if you know anything about loss of, you know, even losing something that you really care about that is material, let alone something that you have this deep love for. And, and like, if you love pets the way that this man loves pets, it's, it's, it's like, it's like his daughter. It's like his, it's like his son. It's no different. And, you know, Monte Coso Skateboards is taking upon themselves to donate everything they get from the rest of the sales of the rest of the merchandise they have to help Raymond get back all the stuff that he lost in his fire. Now, we know we can't replace Tokyo, but if Monte Coso Skateboards can help to replace the stuff that you did lose to get you back comfortable and get you back in your home, then that is what they will do. If you guys want to check out the show notes, everything will be down there. Uh, You can just hit up Monte Coso Skateboards right on Instagram and find out how you can help donate or purchase some merchandise. Now, that's really what I went over today. I really talked about how freaking amazing the skateboarding community is. It, it blows my mind day in and day out when I go on Instagram. And I don't sit there and scroll either. I'm not one of those people. If you've noticed, uh, I'm one of the, I, I post and I'm out. Like I literally post and I'm, I'm off Instagram again. I'm out doing something else. I'm with the family or something, you know, and I'm just trying to get my word out there. When I, when I can, I try to get on there and I, I communicate with people as much as possible. But every time I go on there, there's always something the skateboarding community is doing. They are always giving back in some type of way, whether it's the Henry Gartland Foundation, what Santa Cruz Skateboards is doing for the Henry, Henry Gartland Foundation, donating all their, their board proceeds from his pro model board to the Henry Gartland Foundation. You know, everything that Third Layer has done for this community through their skate camps, through just being there for each other, truly there for each other, you know, hosting the Henry Gartland Foundation skate session coming up. And then also, you know, Monte Coso Skateboards. It's just... It, There's so much in the skateboarding community. Every time I go on there, it's just something that the skateboarding community is giving back. And that's all I talked about in today's episode. It's pretty amazing. I love it. And that's really all I have for you all today. I hope you all enjoy. You know, one thing that has always constantly amazed me about the skateboarding industry is just the community that we have. And that's really all I want to talk about today. It's going to be a pretty short episode. I am solo today. Uh, Coach Lou is under the weather, needs to get some rest so we can, he can get back to his daily routine, feeling better. So I decided, you know what, let's just hop on here. And I've just been seeing so many amazing things in the skate industry from, you know, people starting more skate camps to skateboard companies supporting people and truly trying to make these like funds to help other people out. And one thing I really want to share with everybody is what our sponsor Monte Coso Skateboards is doing. So our dear friend, so our dear friend Raymond, right? He, I'm sharing the photo here on the TV. You guys can go check the show notes, everything down there. We'll have a link right to this post where you then can hit up Monte Coso if you guys want to donate anything. But I'll tell you real quick uh, what has happened. So uh, in recent events, He has not only lost his entire home and everything in his apartment to a fire, but he also lost his beloved cat. And anybody who 
knows just the feeling of loss. You know what our man Raymond is going through. So Monte Cristo Skateboards is going to donate the rest of their proceeds from sales of all their merchandise to help him recover the stuff that he lost. Of course, we cannot replace his dear cat. What is your cat's name again, man? It is Tokyo. I apologize. Your cat, Tokyo, RIP. We know that we cannot do that, but at least we can help by doing this. So if you guys want any amazing merchandise for Montecoso, from their amazing comfy joggers to their t-shirts, and I know some new boards are coming soon, please just go check out this post, check it out in the show notes, and you can just directly DM them and ask how you can go ahead and help. And they're also accepting donations for this as well. And this just really, I saw this this morning, right? And it, I already knew this was, this was happening. I was waiting to share anything about it. I found out from Dustin, uh, one of the owners of Monte Coso, right away, like right when it happened. We actually, I believe, were training the day after it happened, if not the day of. And it is just amazing to me how the skate community is always so quick to come help each other. You just, I don't, there's just something about the camaraderie there that I've always gravitated toward. I've always been the type of person that, I need to be around people that I know if I'm going to, like, if something goes wrong, they're going to have my back. And that's skateboarding. That is hands down skateboarding. And it's just amazing to me how different we all are, too. And I, I know this goes through every single sport. And I'm sure you could say it's, there's diversity in other sports. But, you know, when it comes down to the way you do things, the way you skate, the way you can dress, the, all this stuff, it just goes so deep into individualism and I absolutely love it and that also is amazing to me that we're all so individual but we're all so united that is just absolutely a blessing to be a part of that and I know through XSF I'm going to share with you all right now for my skateboarders out there I'm going to have a class coming out soon uh, an actually group class setting where people can come out so our sponsor third layer skate park and skate shop right they run skate camps. I'm an instructor for that skate camp, actually teaching skate skateboarding, right? Which is amazing. If you guys, <clears throat> I apologize, if you guys ever want to learn to skateboard, or if you are skating, you got kids who want to learn to skate, anything like that, make sure you hit up Third Lair Skate Park and Skate Shop if you're here in Minnesota, because they do a fantastic job. I used to take skate lessons from Dabari Cook Shout out to that man. I haven't talked to you in a long time, but I used to take skate lessons from this guy named Tabari Cook. And I just remember going to skate camp, seeing him being so hyped on it. It was my place to be. And I loved it. Not only that, I, I learned more than just skating. You know, I learned how to listen to somebody <laughs> a little bit better. And it was easier for me to, you know, take uh, direction from somebody who was a skateboarder other than like a teacher or, you know, whatever the case may be. And these skate camps are absolutely amazing. They give these kids a chance to grow and learn and just have a great time together. And off of that, I want to do something for the skateboarders that do like to go to skate camp and do want to learn a little bit more on how they can improve their skating, their health, and their fitness, and just longevity of skating. So if you guys love that, then that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be starting a group class. I haven't chose the exact skate park where I want to meet yet, but I am going to choose a designated spot where we all can meet. It's going to be a group setting. I haven't really arranged prices and stuff yet. Me and Lou still got to talk about some things, but I want you all to know it is coming. By by was July, August, by, by August, we will have this started. So I just wanted you all to know that I'm going to be out there doing my best to make sure that I can give you all the information face to face on how we can move our bodies, train and do all these things. So then we feel the best that we can feel on our skateboards and we can keep skating the rest of our lives. Right. As long as we take care of ourselves, you can do that. And that's what I want to be able to show people. So. One thing I want to say now is if you have a chance to ever just step into a skate park or a skate shop and you've never been, please do because you'll notice something right off the bat when you walk in and it's just the energy and the people I know, Not maybe not every skate shop's the same, but I, I confidently can say 
all the skate shops that I've personally been into, and I've been in quite a few, you know, other than Zoomies, I'm sorry, Zoomies, but you, all the local skate shops I've been to <laughs> are absolutely amazing. The people there are amazing. They really do, like, they, they care. It's skateboarding. Usually the people working there are skaters. They love skateboarding. That's what they do. It's their one main hobby, or maybe they're trying to make it their career. And when you have that put together, it's just, it's pretty cool. So if you've never been into a skate shop or a skate park and you've never just kind of hung out and said hello to people, I really do recommend you trying it. And who knows, maybe you'll even get yourself on a skateboard. I know. Shout out to, shout out to my wife. Thank you, Jojo, for, you know, wanting to learn to skate. It's, she's wanted to for a long time and she's been able to longboard and ride around and stuff. And we kind of fell out of it. Like when we went to the army and stuff, she didn't really get a chance to go longboard around or ride around at all. And then we had the babies and all this stuff, right? Well, now she's ready to start skating again. So I'm excited to get her skating. And that's another thing too. It's amazing to me that now I go out, like I was literally driving around yesterday. I saw a mob of skaters. Actually, I was skating for a little bit. I got to dial it back though, because I'm feeling some feedback in my ankle this morning. Of course, I probably went and overdid it a little bit, got clearance to go cruise, and i am been cruising, maybe been doing some no complies. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to stop that. I'm just going to keep cruising. But uh, so for, it's just, it's cool because I just lost my train of thought. Wow, I did it to myself, guys. I, I do this constantly. But let me just get back to really what I was trying to say about all this is the fact that <clears throat> if you've never skated before, that's fine. But if you've never tried to look at <clears throat> the community before and never really like understood it, please, I recommend that you check out, you know, even some of the videos that Third Lair has done <clears throat> where they have this summer series contest, right? Every single year. <clears throat> and it's amazing. It's so fun. It's actually one of the best times I've ever had. And it, it's awesome. They go around to all these skate parks in the summer and they put on this contest for kids to go out there, have a good time, and, you know, put themselves out there, too. And I was just talking about that in the last episode, that I believe that is very, very important for kids. You know, whether it's the football game setting, the soccer game setting, but I prefer the skate contest setting, especially when it's this run-style stuff. You know, it really puts you, it puts you out there. It puts you in a position of, hey, I can, you're going to learn from it. It's definitely a growing experience. But the videos they do on it really do show you how amazing the group of people is. I mean, literally go on YouTube, type in Go Skateboarding Day 2021. Watch all, watch some videos and you'll see how amazing skateboarding has become. You know, it's, it's just absolutely amazing to me. And I want to thank everyone out there who has supported me in my journey from Emrod, Trog, Jonathan Reese, Tanner Van Vark, Everybody on the third, everybody at third layer, you know, I have my mom, my grandma, Jojo, Papa, RIP, man, I love you. You're the reason why I was getting to a skate park when I was younger. And every, just everybody, my homie Owlin, who was, con we were staying up late at night watching skate videos. And that's something too, it, it has created this passion in me to where I just remember it's it's just funny because I still do the same thing I've done since I was little. And that's, if I have free time, I'm watching a skate video. Maybe that's because now I can't skate as much. I'm pretty sure if I was skating more, maybe I would be watching something else. Probably not. Not really. Because I just remember sitting up late with Owl and watching skate videos all the time and getting on a little bit of a tangent here. But like I was saying, I just want to thank everybody who has supported me through my skating career, through all my injuries. And I also want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has supported Extreme Strength and Fitness. And I'm excited. I'm really, really excited for some new things to come your guys' way. Our website is in development. We haven't really talked about that much, but we got some really cool stuff coming. I'm not going to talk too much on it, but just know we have some content coming your way. The website's coming out. YouTube's going to be back up and running with the uh, training principles for skateboarders. That's coming back out. And, you know, it's just amazing how everybody that I've talked to, everybody that I've went out and told them I'm doing, I've never gotten bad feedback from the skateboarding community. And thank you, all of you, for that. 
because it is it is something really amazing to me that I can go out and I'm trying to preach this stuff that, you know, a lot of skateboarders might not agree with, but I'm never met with hosti- hostility. I'm always met with with a, either agreeance and they want to do it or they just aren't really feeling it, but they still give me the respect of the day to say, thank you, man. Hey, I'm going to, I'm still going to follow you, see what you got to say, blah, 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 whatever the case may be, you know, thank you to everybody out there who has given me that respect of, you know, not riding me off and just hearing, I just, just cool. I just think that's really, really cool. Cause you know, you can talk to a uh, Joe Schmo on the street and he would tell me to fuck off. <laughs> and I haven't had that in the skateboarding community. So thank you everybody. And, you know, really a huge thank you to our sponsors. We always play the sponsor thing at the end of the episode. We're going to be changing things around with that, but I want to give a huge shout out to everybody. We got third there skate park and skate shop. Like I said, everything you need will be down in the show notes. We have a little sponsor section. You can just click all the links there. It'll take you right to where you want to go. Third there skate park and skate shop. Like I said, those skate camps they have are absolutely amazing for your children to get out there, learn how to skate, have an amazing time and grow. And it's just, trust me, it is such a great time from experience myself, from doing it and now teaching it It is absolutely amazing. I don't have any more fun than those times. Now, again, Monte Coso Skateboards, thank you. Thank you for all you're doing for us. Thank you for all you're doing for Raymond. Thank you for all you've done for the entire skateboarding community, especially here in this local scene here in Minnesota. Shout out to Batch Roasting Co., You know, I just love the fact that this is another minority ran company and they are really out there in New York. You know, if you go on their page, you see when they're at events, they're they're building their own little community. And I love that. So thank you to you guys. And your coffee is absolutely amazing. Take a little sip of that real quick. (sighs) Batch number five. Yeah. And shout out to Jetty Woodworks. Hey, Jetty Woodworks, veteran owned company, veteran veteran ran and owned company. And <clears throat> like Louis said in the last episode, they are starting to make some cruiser boards and stuff, which I think is super, super sick. And not only that, if you hit him up, he does custom they will do custom stuff for you. So go ahead, hit him up, see what you can get done. Louie's got some cool stuff done. I have some stuff I want to get done for the wall here in the background. So just make sure you guys check it out. Now, last thing I want to say. You know what? No. Really? All there is to it. I love you guys. I really appreciate everything that has been that has been given that has been shown and that is to come i i just i love this and i cannot wait to be back again next week to do another episode with you all i know today was a little bit different didn't talk too much about fitness or anything but i really did just want to share about the skate community that's that's really what i want to talk about today it's what's on my mind it's something that i am really striving to get back into more i really did you know, fall out the skateboarding community. It's not that I have never fallen off of skating, but when I went to the army, you know, went away, started doing my own thing. Uh, You know, the scene here in Minnesota kept growing and growing and growing. And then I came back and I I felt weird. I fell out of the place, you know, and I still do a little bit, but that's why I'm also putting myself out there. I want to be in the skate community. That's all I want to do. And you know, if you guys want to do something, just get up, go out there and do it. Cause it's not going to happen if you don't. I mean, that's just the bottom line. And with that, just know everyone is capable of being extreme. Extreme.